What's going on everybody? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're going to be going over some chest physio techniques. Uh, in particular, we're going to be going over something called ACBT. Uh, it stands for Active Cycle Breathing Technique. So this can be used for a lot of patients uh, or individuals who are uh, post-surgery, who have had rib fractures, who have pneumonia, bronchitis, any sort of uh, condition, injury, or circumstance that impairs or affects their uh, cardio or respiratory system. So specifically with this technique, the goal is to try to mobilize the secretions uh, that are in your lungs, um, primarily phlegm or, or, or mucus that can build up in your lungs after a period of uh, uh, inactivity or when you have a different condition where you're in a position where the airways aren't as open as you'd like them to be or, or just as a result of the specific condition. So the way that it works or the way that I want you to start off is I want you to try to sit up nice and tall and you're just going to start by taking some uh, nor uh, normal breathing, just breathing at your normal rate but try to go in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just nice and relaxed. The goal of this is just try, meant to get you to try to relax, decrease some of the tension that um, is around your chest and your abdominal area, and just trying to stimulate some of the, the breathing, kind of that natural uh, breathing flow that you would have had before the condition. You're gonna try that for a few breaths. Make sure when you're doing this, you're trying to sit up relatively nice and tall, and you're able, and if you're able to uh, do it in a sitting position, which just helps with uh, trying to open up the airways a little bit more. Next thing we're going to do is now we're going to do some thoracic expansion exercises, or the component of this ACBT that involves uh, expanding your rib cage. So we're going to put our hands, we're going to put them right around our rib area. And I just want you to use your hands more as a cue to try to facilitate you pushing your lungs or your rib cage out into your hands. This is called lateral costal breathing. It's one type of breathing technique meant to increase more of the uh, ventilation and increase more of the oxygen that's coming into your lungs. So hands on your, on your rib cage and just breathe into your hands. I want, to, I want you to go at a two, two, four count. So two second breath in, two second pause, four second breath out. Try to do three or four of these breaths. Couple key points, the pause at the top of the breath is meant to uh, increase uh, the amount of air that's in the alveoli or that can get to the alveoli called, uh, and it's called collateral ventilation. So basically by you pausing, you're helping to get more, more oxygen and more nutrients into those, those alveoli or those little air sacs. The other thing I want you to make sure when you're doing these expansion exercises is you're not using your chest muscles or your neck muscles to help with the breathing. We're really trying to focus breathing with our lungs and with our rib cage and trying to minimize the amount of accessory muscle use just because sometimes that can drive our uh, sympathetic nervous system and as a result it won't get that uh, parasympathetic nervous system as involved. We want this to be a nice calming exercise and not something where you feel like you have to tense up and really try to use your whole body to breathe. The next thing we're going to do is after we've done the quiet breathing and then the uh, expansion exercises via the lateral costal breathing when we're pushing into our hands, we want to try to do a huff. So a huff is a forced expiration. You're basically keeping your mouth open and you're trying to stimulate the, the mucus and, and the buildup in the air sacs of your lungs and we're trying to get them from the periphery into uh, the central airways or our bronchi, which will help to make it easier to cough up some of that mucus buildup. So a huff is, you want to think about a huff like you're trying to fog up uh, your glasses. So it's going to look like this. 
Gonna take a breath in. <sighs> and really trying to force that breath out as hard as you can. Just trying to get rid of any mucus or trying to mobilize those secretions. That's what a big part of chest physio is, is we're trying to mobilize the secretion so that we can cough up some of that uh, mucus. Then the last step is if you were able to get up some of that mucus just with the huff, then we repeat that cycle three or four times. So you haven't been able to, cough, uh, to get rid of some of that mucus with the huff, then now is when you're going to do a cough. So you're going to take a big breath in, The cough is, is meant to increase the intra-abdominal pressure to help drive the mucus out of your lungs and out into a paper towel or a Kleenex so that it's out of your system. The key thing with the cough is just practicing good cough etiquette. You want to try to cough into your elbow and away from your body so that you're not uh, spelling particles out into the air. And you're trying to make sure that you're not taking numerous coughs after that initial cough. Just one, sh one or two strong coughs is sufficient. And then that would be one cycle of the ACBT. You wanna to try to aim for two to three cycles and you don't wanna do it more than once an hour. Uh, ideally once an hour if you can, but trying to do it, do the cycle a few times uh, every couple hours works too. The goal is you're just trying to do it at a relatively consistent level, something that you can tolerate uh, consistently. The other key thing you want to be mindful of is just making sure that you're not feeling any dizziness or any shortness of breath, so it's all at your own pace. Um, if you find that the cough stimulates a lot of pain or is very uncomfortable, you can use a pillow that you can just hug as you cough just to try to help get rid of some of that mucus and also it acts as a splint. Um, this is especially for individuals who have had any sort of abdominal surgery or any rib fractures where it's gonna be quite painful to cough, uh, to, to do a strong cough early on after the injury or the surgery. Another thing that's important to note is, I remember when I was younger, you know, you never really thought that there was actually a proper or more effective way to cough in order to get rid of some of that mucus that you had in your lungs when you weren't feeling well. So I think it's super important to, to do this exercise as a technique because that will help to optimize your ventilation and your ability to help mobilize those secretions, which is the most important component of this uh, technique is just to try to get you to cough up those secretions so that they're no longer in your lungs. Another thing that's important to note is that when you're doing this exercise and in between sets, if you're sitting at home and, and, and looking for ideas, is to try to spend time lying on your tummy uh, with a pillow underneath uh, uh, your stomach. And it's important to do that because lying on your tummy helps to open up your airways a little bit more uh, versus if you're lying on your back because most of your lungs are actually found posteriorly found on your back versus on your front. Lying on your stomach, trying to spend time in between these sets where you're lying on your stomach will greatly help to uh, facilitate opening up the airway so that when you do do your ACBT technique, it'll make it easier to help get rid of some of the secretions because you've spent that time lying on your tummy, which has helped to open up your airways and, and it just helps to, to make it easier. So hopefully that information that I gave you was valuable. Hopefully you learned a few important lessons about how to cough effectively to get rid of the secretions. If you're sitting at home or not feeling well and you feel the secretions and you, and you feel your uh, lungs, or you're feeling, hearing some wheezing noises or you, you know that there's phlegm there and you're just trying to figure out ways to help get rid of it. Try this ACBT technique and it should help to get rid of the secretions and as a result you should start to feel like you can actually breathe better as a result. Give it a go. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content uh, similar to this and other physio-related content. And uh, thanks for watching.